right, this is my mod for a 36 volt Black & Decker uh, cordless lawnmower. Um, this mower, had, when I bought it, took three 12 volt uh, lead acid batteries and I had replaced them twice in its lifespan. And uh, towards the end of the lifespan, you know, I get through one half of my lawn and have to bring it back and charge it. And kind of just was annoying. So I was thinking about um, putting a lithium ion battery in it and shopped around with a whole bunch of bike batteries and had this idea to actually modify it and use my um, Ryobi power tool batteries because they uh, come in 218 volts. I've got a whole bunch of them and uh, they charge up pretty well and uh, yeah and it actually worked out i um, just crudely took the top off and just checked to see if the um if they would power it and how long they would power it and i ran a test run on uh, mowing my lawn and it worked really well so i went ahead and all the parts and I'll show you how I did this. Uh, just a correction there. So these are the, the three 12 volts here that are originally come in it. Um, and uh, they're uh, wired in series to create 36 volts. They're each uh, 12 volt, 10 amp hours. So replacing these uh, with the Ryobi power tool 18 volt batteries, um, you can get them in different amp hours. I have a couple that are six amp hours. Uh, so we're going to lose some amp hours, but the idea is you can switch them out real easily, have them charging while you're mowing, and um, they should do the job. So first to get this, you're going to want to get this top off here. Uh, you have a uh, bolt here, bolt here, two bolts there, and two bolts there. And they're all going to use a T20 that looks just like this. Um, and I also noticed that uh, the T20 kind of strips out a little bit. The bolts aren't great. Um, and if you have that happen, um, you can use a flat head uh, to get them because they have kind of both. Let me show you what the bolt looks like here. This is, um, this is what it looks like. So it's got a little flat head groove in there as well. Um, so I had one that was stuck. And what I did is I went ahead and I had this... These holes were full of a whole bunch of grass and stuff from mowing over the years. So I went ahead and took the shop back and, and uh, cleaned them all out. So I actually could get some purchase in the hole there. Um, so once you get those four off, the whole thing just lifts off pretty easily. And I'll show you that. So I'll go ahead and get all those bolts out. Now you just go ahead and grab this thing, lift them off. See, I've already done the replacement. I should have probably started the video before I had done that, but uh, so the three batteries were sitting right here, and there's a uh, plastic piece that sits over the top of the batteries, just like that. I went ahead and just removed that and left it off. So I pulled the batteries off. This green lead was going into the one side of the this green lead right here was going into the one side of the battery. The red lead was going into the other. Uh, then you have a neutral going up to the control um, unit. And then the, um, the electric motor, which is really not much of anything, but it works pretty well. So um, what I ended up doing was I bought these uh, Ryobi 18 volt, um, they call them, they're like a Hot Wheels power adapter. I got them on eBay. Uh, they're about 10 bucks a piece. Uh, I bought two of them and then I wired them in series. So you have your hot wire going to your negative um, and then you have a negative on one side and your hot on the other. That produces 36 volts. I went and bought these little um, connectors so I didn't even have to change out the connectors uh, that came on the um, on the mower, um, it was pretty easy. Uh, you could just snip these off and use a wire nut if you wanted to. Um, I thought that I would just leave them just in case I want to go back to the lead acid for any reason, um, and just easier that way. So um, I then took uh, these, guys, you can see them, they look right here, and I'll 
show you a box. Maybe I'll put a link in the description here for these guys. Um, I went ahead and just cut out some holes with a multi-tool um, and you know measured it so that they fit in pretty well and just shoved them in. Um, and then we're gonna put it back together. So I'm gonna connect the wires. this while I'm holding the camera. So uh, the red's gonna go to the red, the black's gonna go to the green. All right, I was gonna mention a couple of things. Um, when I cut this out, I cut it out with a multi-tool. Um, or I don't know, they call them a feet, a fine or whatever. Um, can show that here. They're pretty handy for cutting holes like this. Um, you could probably do it with a drill uh, if you wanted to. Um, but, um, I was able to cut it so that it was close enough that, um, when I put these in, I was just able to press them in and they're just kind of, um, pressed in there and they're in there pretty well. Uh, if you were going to mow in the rain or something, you might want to seal these up really well. And, and then of course, maybe you just want something over the whole top of the batteries as well. But, um, these are in there pretty well. I didn't glue them or anything. Um, so let's go ahead and pop those guys in. Pop in pretty easily here. And then the idea here is, is I mean, you're not going to get the same amperage out of these guys as you are out of those big uh, lead acid batteries. But, I mean, you can pop them in and out. You have a couple of these. I've got six of them. So I'll just have them charging one out mowing and um, pretty much endless. I, they never really run out. They charge as fast as I can. I can mow about a half acre or so. So, uh, yeah, let's see if this guy turns up now. Starts right up. It's got lots of power. Um, there you are. This is the box for those power adapters um, that I use for this modification says uh, good quality we'll see about that they're pretty pretty lightweight uh, we'll see how well they last um, but yeah picked these up at um, on eBay for about 10 bucks or maybe like 12 or something like that so I think you can get two the other thing is is they came with these terminals here which I did not use because um, I don't know they just didn't seem very Maybe they are right. Could have used them, maybe. Uh, I just want to stick with the same uh, setup that was in the mower um, already. So I think that these are made for, like, uh, those little electric toy cars. Um, people like to modify them, I guess, to use their uh, Ryobi batteries or their lithium-ion 36-volt or 18-volt uh, for those um, little cars. Um, but, yeah, worked well for this modification. All right. That's it. Bye.